It was a liberated marriage. We shared the household chores, of course. We understood each other's feelings right down to the day of our sensible divorce. I didn't ask him for a penny. I'd had my liberated training. So off he went with his hair of bronze to find a life like Khalil Gibran's. I got my rest from the drugs he did. He got his quest. I got the kid. But oh, I'm not complaining. So I set off to be a writer, a modern mother on her own. I wrote up happenings at galleries, turned down jobs with salaries, and stayed freelance and alone. I fought the battles of the 60s, which you recall were rather draining. And no, oh, I'm not complaining. My husband found himself in his ashram. <laughs> Lost 40 pounds and went through hell. from limbo, found himself some bimbo, and moved to New Rochelle. I raised my son, and I had lovers. My choices sometimes take explaining. I'd meet some jock, my friends would scoff, he'd stay a while, I'd drive him off. I kept my space, preserved my turf, six months. I'd send him back to surf. <laughs> I was not complaining. And now my son's halfway through college. I pay tuition like a fine. I'm still this feisty freelance writer, resume well home at a well-toned 49. I find that getting work is harder. Each job I want takes more campaigning. And those sweet young things who hire me now, those MBAs making 50 thou, who smile and ask what I have done when they got their jobs from the fights I won. I'll stay home and have babies, but I'm not complaining. And in the evening at my window, as I watch Jersey growing dim, I feel a troubling emotion summed up in this notion. I wish I stayed with him. Lord knows each day with him was madness. As I have spent my life explaining. But more and more I recall the joy. My goal. chose my way and 
and I'm not complaining.